What's going on guys? Hope you're having a great day. I'm on my lunch break. I'm at the post office, gonna drop off some packages that sold over the weekend. And then I'm probably gonna head to the thrift store. So you know what that means. Lunch break, thrift trip, Woo! <laughs> So for some reason, I don't really expect to find a lot of stuff in the thrift store today. So to supplement this video a little bit, I wanna show you some of the stuff I'm, I'm shipping today. First up is, uh, I'm just going to show you the box and then I'll put a, a link to whatever sold. This is a bowling ball carrying bag. I sold this for, I think like $18 plus shipping. I picked this up at the Goodwill bins like a month ago. Um, it actually had a bowling ball inside. At the bins, you buy stuff by the weight. And so I looked at the bowling ball and it was pretty much worthless. So I just took the ball out of the bag and bought the bag. And the bag also had a wrist, like a bowling wrist guard in it. Um, so I listed that separately. I sold that for like $14. So at the bins, I probably spent like a dollar on the bag and wrist guard itself. And then the wrist guard sold for 12 and this sold for 18 plus shipping. This box is a, you hear it? It's a lot of Legos. Um, at our church yard sale uh, about a month ago, somebody donated a bunch of Legos and we sold some there. And this was a box of like the good stuff, like the minifigures and it's a bunch of Minecraft stuff. I just basically dumped out the whole box on my my photo area and took a picture of it and listed it on auction and it sold for $51 plus shipping. This was that, um, so remember a couple videos ago I told you about that return, that New Orleans Saints t-shirt that got returned really gross. I, I washed it and ended up cleaning up really nice so I relisted it and it sold again. I think I got like $13 for this with free shipping. So not a ton of profit but it's cool that I was able to resell it. This was a Vera Bradley purse. I picked it up at the bins like, I don't know, it's five months ago. It was one of the first things I bought. It wasn't a very good buy. Um, I just saw Vera Bradley and thought they still held value, but I guess maybe this pattern didn't. Um, I sold this for $9 with free shipping, and I think it cost like $3.50 to ship. So it still made money. I paid like 50 cents for it at the bins. This was a lot of two Columbia men's shirts. I picked both of those up at a thrift store. I paid like $4 a piece for them. And a lot of them, I originally had them listed at like 30, $39.99 or something. I just kept putting them on sale and lowering the price. And eventually they sold for 25 bucks with free shipping. Um, not a not a ton of money to be made there, but at least I'm at least I'm moving old inventory. A pair of Nike um, Nike running shoes. I picked these up at the Salvation Army. Uh, I think I paid like $6.99 for them. I sold them for $35 with free shipping going in a padded flat rate, so pretty good sale there. This one is a hat, it's an Atlanta Braves hat, uh, like a flat bill, really cool. It's got a huge like embroidery on the side. I, I was really happy when I found that. I paid a dollar for it at Goodwill probably two months ago um, and it sold for like $13 plus shipping. This is a set of pillowcases. I actually picked these up uh, this past Saturday on, at a yard sale. Um, I got the set of pillowcases and two sets of sheets. Uh, for like a dollar a piece basically after I bundled everything and I sold these for $15 with free shipping and they it was like $3.50 to ship them or something like that. I've got a whole collection of Xbox games that I used to play and I just started listing some to see what would happen and this was some race like Forza 4 or something like that. I listed it and it sold within like three hours for 10 bucks free shipping and I shipped it it's like $2.77 or something like that. So. There we go. That's everything I'm shipping out today. Uh, if you guys want me to do more of you know what sold and, and how I pack stuff or whatever, let me know. I'm going to take all this stuff in there, get it shipped, and then, like I said, head to the thrift store, see what they have. And then you're going to want to stay until the end of this video because I've got some very exciting news for you. You don't want to miss it. I almost forgot this one. This is a uh, PS3 Guitar Hero guitar. Um, really took a loss on this one. I, I mean, I think I spent like three bucks just hit myself in the face with it. Um, I paid like three bucks for the guitar and I sold it for 35 with free shipping, but then it turns out it was going to Hawaii. So it cost me like $17 to ship. Um, so I do not buy PS3 guitars anymore. I only buy Xbox 360 and that's one of the reasons why. They're just not very, not, they're just not worth it in my opinion. I just shipped all that stuff. I'm here at the Salvation Army now. The Hawaii shipping, that's like the third time I've been burned shipping to Hawaii because I offer free shipping on probably 95% of my items. But on the big heavy items, I'll make sure to go in and exclude shipping to Hawaii, Alaska, and, and all that stuff. Um, but I don't really think about it on small stuff. Like one time I sold, I had this like penny skateboard. It was like, I don't know, like 15, 16 inches long. And 
probably weighed like three pounds. Um, and I, I think I listed that for like 35 bucks with free shipping and it ended up selling to somebody in Hawaii. So it cost me like, I think 20, $26 to ship it. It was crazy. I'm sure there's a way you can go in bulk editor and just exclude shipping to Hawaii on everything. But uh, I just haven't taken the time to figure that out. So let me know what you guys do. Do you ship anything to Hawaii or do you, how, how do you handle that? Anyway, enough about Hawaii, let's go thrift. Nothing. I found that one pair of Huck shoes. I'd never seen that brand before, so I looked them up, and the comps are actually pretty good. I actually didn't see very many used ones, so that means that it's, you know, it's probably a new brand that does really well. I knew they were looking like they were selling for like 60 to 70 or so, just for like some slip-on fishing shoes. Um, so definitely a brand to look out for, but those were just a little too worn for me. So I left that thrift store empty-handed. Um, it happens occasionally, nothing to get upset about. I've still got plenty of stuff at home that I haven't listed yet anyway, so. I couldn't just, I couldn't just leave you guys on a lunch break thrift trip without actually thrifting something. I gotta give these people some sort of thrift funds. So after, after I got home from work tonight, I did a live video with Bonafide Hustler on his channel. Be sure to go check that out. I'll put a link to it down in the description. But I went to Goodwill after that, and I actually found some really, really good stuff. Check this stuff out. I found these Sam Edelman um, Circus, Circus by Sam Edelman boots. Brand new with tags, the, the Liam, the Liam, whatever. Uh, I don't really know too much about Sam Edelman, but these were only $6.50 new with tags. And uh, found some comps on eBay, I think like 55 to 60, but they haven't sold a ton of them recently, probably because they're like fur line winter boots. Uh, but for $6.50, couldn't turn those down. So I picked those up. Might have to hold on to them for a little bit, maybe more of a long tail item but I expect I should be able to get 50 to 60 plus shipping for them when the time comes. Next up, I got this uh, band t-shirt, 21 Pilots. Um, I still buy t-shirts occasionally. This, this shirt was only 75 cents and band t-shirts are kind of like, like the older they are, the better. Even though this might sit for a little bit, it's not gonna go down in value. Again, 75 cents, I might sell it for 12 to $15 or so. Then I found another Magnavox combo unit. I find these pretty often now um, and I actually found I found this remote um, Last week when I was surfing and I just know this remote is for these units um, So I can pair this remote which I paid like 75 cents for um, with this unit which I paid four dollars and ninety nine cents for um, This unit with the remote and some AV cables should bring about 80 85 dollars plus shipping great fun there this next item is something that has been on my bucket list for a while. I've always wanted to find the pair and I haven't until tonight. I was walking through the men's shoes section and I saw these little yellow tags. Anybody know? Go ahead, go ahead and tell me in the comments if you know what brand of boot this is without looking, just based on little tags. Do you? I don't know. I did. These are, where is it? These are Doc Martens. I don't know if you can, if you can see. These are really, really high quality boot. Uh, I think they're made in England or something. They're in really good condition. There's a couple little scuff marks on the toe of this one, uh, but plenty of tread left. I mean, it looks like they were maybe worn five or six times and then donated. The comps on these are all over the place, even though they're a really nice pair of boots. Some people, it looks like some people are just trying to move them very quickly. So I see some listings for like 50 to $60, but these boots could easily sell for 75 to $100 like easily. So I think I'll polish these up with some black uh, boot polish, take some really good photos, you know, the solid white background, really go all out with my listing, and maybe do some promoted listings, maybe promote these at, you know, three or 4%, and maybe list them at like $79.99 plus shipping and just see what happens. I can always lower the price later, um, but I think, I think these are gonna bring a higher sales price than what other sellers are offering. 
that's everything I found today at the Goodwill. Uh, I guess it's technically a lunch break thrift trip. It's still the same day. That's just not on my lunch break. Anyway, back to the regular video. Like I was saying earlier in the video, I've got some exciting news for you. I don't want to, I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but my channel's been growing pretty steadily, and I, I think I'll get to a thousand subscribers within the next couple weeks or so. For my one thousand subscriber thank you video, I want to do some giveaways, and, and I want your guys' opinions. What, what would you like to see in giveaways? Um, I thought about giving away like reselling supplies, you know, like poly bags or. Scotty peeler, tape guns, or scales, or stuff like that. Stuff you guys, as resellers, could use. Um, especially if you're new and you haven't really started yet. These are really essential supplies that I would love to, to give away to help you start your business. Um, so those are some ideas I've had. Obviously, I'm gonna give away some type of G Fuel. G Fuel is not sponsoring this video or any future videos as of yet. So I will be buying the G Fuel myself. But I do wanna give away a couple of like starter kits. Cause the stuff really is good, guys. Like. Like this, I'm, I'm about to pop open this jar uh, and have it for my, my post-lunch uh, energy, something to give me energy after lunch. Um, but it is really good. So I'm gonna give away probably two of those starter kits. So anyway, give me your ideas of what you want me to give away. Nothing crazy. I'm not gonna give away you know $1,000 worth of stuff, but uh, anything within reason, I'll happily uh, consider. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate your time. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, consider subscribing to my channel. Got the giveaway coming up. I just talked about it. You want to be entered in that. All you got to do is like, well, at the time of the video. You've got to like that video and comment on that video. But you also have to be subscribed to the channel. So you might as well go ahead and subscribe now and just uh, get that taken care of so you can be entered in to win when the time is ready. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bro fist? Do you, do you, do you want a bro fist? I don't think I don't think you're ready for bro fist. Bro fist at a thousand subs. Thousand subs, you get full on bro fist. So close. Thousand subs. Let's make it happen. Make it happen, people. Thousand subs. G fuel. Let's go. Hey.